how tomato ketchup is made, tomato harvesting, and ketchup processing with modern technology. The Ketchup Tale. Let's take you up to the present with the entire structured process. Ultimately, by going through this entire structured process, it comes up on the meal table. The process at its early stage begins when the transporting machines take the tomato crates and turn them upside down into the water to dust off the mud and similar elements from them. The tomatoes are made sure to be perfectly grown, therefore. The ones with impurities and lacking in growth are distinguished by the machine due to their weight and sent to a specified point as being cancelled, while the red ones flow and move ahead for the next process, where they will get heated up to a certain extent to get soaked. Once they're soaked, then these are sent for the next step where through manual operations the perished tomatoes are separated and taken out. This is done to ensure the quality and better the taste. and the leftovers move further to get further processed until the tins in which the ketchup is to be filled are made. The tomatoes stop processing and large tin plates are balanced by getting hardly punched by a machine, which further sends them for getting cut into circular shapes or any other shapes as per the targeted market. Then it gets the zigzag shape in the center and respectively picked up by the machines and kept in a place till the filling process. Till then the caps are made and a pre-filling analysis is done to check the quality of the tins. Once the result of the tin seems to meet the expectations, then the tomatoes are taken by the whirlpool to get crunched and transformed into ketchup. The tins are circulated on the machine and escalated to the filling point where it gets filled by the ketchup and the process continues. Then the ketchup is checked to ensure the quality, whether it falls on the standards and level of the filled ketchup. Then the labels are made where the nutritional facts are printed on it. The filled tins are circulated again so that they get paved with the printed labels. Then it reaches the last stage where a determined number of tins are integrated and reaches the last stage where they get wrapped with plastic to reach the selling point safely. This is how the entire structured process today helps the manufacturer to make sure the availability of ketchup on the meal table.
plum harvesting. The electronics tray sack needs to be attached with a tractor which should have a pulling capacity and a shaft that should be able to generate energy which vibrates the trees to a certain extent. Similarly, it is easily movable from tree to tree because of its size. Mostly, for smooth functioning, farmers have to take out the plucked plums and similar fruit while moving for the next tree. Electronics Tressac can also be used for harvesting, cleaning, and packing fruit. It comes with a giant and circular umbrella that surrounds and covers the tree from each side in its circular area. It comes with an independent design for a power takeoff shaft operation, which shakes the tree to an extent that is normal and won't affect the stems and roots of the trees. The minimum power of this tractor must be 40 horsepower. The distance between the tree lines should be 4 meters, and the height of the trunk from the ground to the first branches should be 50 centimeters. The weight of this machine is 850 kilograms. During the process, it is reclined to the ground, and during transportation, it is leaned to the supportive wheel. The time of accessing the tree and the time of shaking the same is 30 seconds, which depends on the driver's ability, his training to carry out the mechanical harvesting, and plantation preparedness. The percentage of the tree shaken is 95%, with total removal of impure leaves and brushwood. Continual change of amplitude and frequency is possible during shaking. The damaging effect to the tree is excluded. The machine is tested at the Facility of Agriculture in Belgrade, and it has been exploited for 13 years now. Oranges harvesting. Oranges are plucked from the trees manually. Then a truck steps in to take them for the next stage where it picks it up with a giant truck and turns the basket upside down. The truck takes the oranges to the factory where they go through a similar process as the pineapples went. If you like to watch more videos similar like this, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel with pressing the bell icon so that you could be the first person to get the latest update. And write down in the comment section what you would like to see next.